well, the biggest gap is the supply of housing. Mm. Um, so it's not a service, it's, it's the infrastructure to um, enable people to get housing. Not all people or women who have 55 need services, they need a house and they need it to be affordable. And then people do need services depending on their personal circumstances. But, um, you know, there isn't the political will at the moment to really address the scale of the problem. Um, and even though there's a lot of debate and a lot of um, groups getting together to talk about how can the market, the market's not going to do it. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, you can't service debt on 30% of income, and particularly if it's 30% of new start. So um, I think that it is an issue that needs to be more, um, government has to take the lead with it, um, and it has to go to scale, because the longer it takes to go to scale, the bigger the problem is, and then we start working from a deficit base, it's people's problems, like they've got mental health problems, they've got mm. addictions, they've got mm. whatever, when in fact there just isn't accessible and affordable housing. So mm. I think that we have to keep that first and foremost and not stigmatise housing um, to be about people's needs, like rich people have problems too and um, they've just got more resources to deal with it. But the stigmatising of social housing is a huge issue and I think we have to work against that so that we work at housing as a right, um, as a human right. Um, the governments do, and everyone's got to stop saying it's not their responsibility, whether it's Commonwealth, state or local government. It's actually everyone's responsibility. People have land, people have um, money they could put into it. It's about the will to do it together because the scale that has to happen, it's got not going to happen by any one source. Um, but it's certainly nothing's going to change unless we s start to look at scale um, because it's just getting worse because that scale's going. We're also diminishing the number of social housings in some cities across Australia where it's being, you know, pulled down and not being rebuilt at the same rate. So it's important that people keep an eye on it and start, you know, like everyone's got to try and lobby, I suppose, and advocate that um, it is the role of government and ensure the private sector can help, but they haven't come up with any solution yet that can get them over that issue of how you... Um, can get the return that you need once you build housing. So um, unless the government went into housing subsidies and um, there's not a big appetite for that at the moment, but certainly in other countries, housing subsidies have filled the gap. But you have to be very careful that you don't create a substandard housing with mm -hmm. housing subsidies to the private sector.